Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Taylor Hazelton and if you're new here I like to start off my videos with a corny joke just to lighten the mood and then I get right into it. So the corny joke for this video is how do you fix a broken pumpkin? With a pumpkin patch. <laughs> okay so hopefully you got a little laugh out of that and let's go ahead and get started. So in this video, I'll be showing you how to create a repeating seamless pattern using Canva. This can be done with the free or the pro version. I'll be using the template, which I will have a free link to in the description below. It should be working. If it doesn't, please just comment and let me know and I will try to fix that for you. So I just have a blank template here for a composition notebook and I'm going to do a repeating pattern of a dinosaur. So this is a pro element that I am using. However, there are plenty of free elements out there. So you can do this with any of the other elements in case you don't have the pro version. And that's perfectly fine. So I'm just going to select this pink dinosaur right here and let it load. I'm going to make it smaller since I don't want it to be that big while I'm doing this. I'm actually going to delete this middle spine border thing that I have here. I'm going to add it back in later, but it'll just be easier for this. So you just want to make sure you get it to the size that you want it at. I think we'll have it right there. And this is a 7.5 inch by 9.25 inch notebook. Just to give you an idea, I do have it up here in the description. And I'm just going to copy and paste all the way until I get enough to fill the entire page. And you can kind of space them out or get an idea where you want them. The big thing is you want to have the two on the edges be exactly where you want them to be. And then you're going to highlight all of them, go to position, tidy up, and it will space them evenly, and then go to group. Now what I like to do is copy and paste again, and then put it next to each other and it usually puts it exactly where it needs to be, and then I'll hit group again. And I'll tell you why I do this in a minute. So next, I'm going to copy and paste this whole group all the way up until I have as many as I would like on here. And let's do one more. So again, make sure you have the top and bottom exactly where you want them to be because that's how it does the tidy up. It goes off the top and the bottom. And now I'm going to highlight all of the dinosaurs, do position, I'm gonna do tidy up yet again. I'm gonna to do to the back, so that way it's behind everything else. And now you can either leave it like this, how they're perfectly in a line, or I kinda of like to off-center them. And this is why I group them together, so that way when I off-center them, I don't have to add any more dinosaurs. And you can just use the arrow keys for this, or you can use um, your mouse and just move them. So I'm just going to do this and just get them exactly where you want them to be. You can do this with any of the elements as well and it doesn't have to be the same element either. You can mix and match it up. Perfect and now I'm just going to add that middle border again and all I do for that is I add this square here which is free to use which is great. And I always go past the edges just to be safe, make sure I get everything. And this I'm just going to eyeball center and then middle. And then you can change the color. So for this, I could change it to the pink if I want to, which I think actually looks pretty good. And that is probably a little bit too wide for me. So I'm just going to change that again, go to position, center. And there you go, that's how you can do repeating images on Canva. This is so easy, so simple. You can do this with the free or pro version. So I really hope that this was helpful. Please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button in case you really like this video or you're just interested in any of my other videos. I appreciate all the support so much. You guys are amazing. Feel free to leave any comments below. Just please remember to be nice and respectful. So thank you so much for watching and listening and have a wonderful day.